take all our own music. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let you fall. <laughs> each other and hold hands, a little step towards him. Mm -hmm. You'll take just a tiny little step backwards. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We gather here this afternoon at the beautiful Caesars Palace Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, mm -hmm. to celebrate the uniting of marriage of this man, Frank Peters, and this woman, Shannon Prince, in holy matrimony. Marriage is a holy institution established in heaven by the divine wisdom and kindness of a loving God. So let's all bow our heads as we say a prayer of blessing over their marriage. Dear Father in heaven, I come before your throne and bring Frank and Shannon with me. I ask you to personally be witness to the vows that are about to speak here today. That you would open up your throne in heaven and release an ever ending river of love and blessing into their lives and marriage, carrying with it prosperity, success, joy, and happiness. Let it fill each of their days with deeper love and let it bring them into the true oneness you call husbands and wives to be. Father, we thank you that you've opened up the skies to allow Regina to view this most wonderful day in our daughter's life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please look in one another's eyes. Frank, do you take Shannon to be your lawfully wedded wife, mm -hmm. to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and protect her and her alone? Do you pledge your love and your fidelity? If you agree, please say it you. That I do. Shannon, do you take Frank to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish him, and him alone? Do you pledge your love and your fidelity? If you agree, please say I do. Of course I do. Well, if you do me a favor, take a nice deep breath. <laughs> John Mayer, the ring. When God entered into a covenant with Noah, he painted a rainbow across the heavens for the whole world to see. And you two have chosen these rings here for the whole world to see. But you have a covenant now, one with the other. And then he said to Noah, each time I look at a rainbow, I will remember the everlasting vow that I made with you here today. So each time you look upon your rings in life, be reminded of the vows that you've just agreed to here, but especially to those that you're about to speak. So Frank, would you please take these rings? Mm -hmm. Would you fit those together and place them on the ring finger of Shannon's left hand? All right. Up, over, up and over. Okay. One, two, Hold three. Hold it there in place. 
open to our eyes and repeat after me, please. Yes. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. All my heart's affection. All my heart's affection. All that I am. All that I am. All that I ever shall be. All that I ever shall be. And everything that's a part of me. And everything that's a part of me. I give to you now. I give to you now. My wife. My wife. Before God. Before God. And our family and friends. And our family and friends. Shannon, would you take this ring? Would you place that ring on the ring finger of Frank's left hand? So, got it. Before we continue, Frank, I'd like to say something to you. In addition to taking you as my wife, I want to ask you, before you take me as your husband, to also take Taking as my your daughter, Tally as your daughter, and give me the luxury of taking Sky as my daughter and John as my son. And I ask you guys to all be wed to us as well. I do. Yes. Perfect. Now would you look into his eyes and repeat after me, please, Shin? With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. All my heart's affection. All my heart's affection. All that I am. All that I am. All that I ever shall be. All that I ever shall be. And everything that's a part of me. And everything that is a part of me. I give to you now. I give to you now. My husband. My husband. Before God. Before God. And our family and friends. And our family and friends. Frank, would you take both of Shannon's hands in yours? Yes. You two have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings. And this covenant is a relationship pledged between two people who agree that they will commit themselves to one another throughout their lives. Today, this relationship is symbolized in the pouring of these individual containers of sin. But we have extra meaning and extra tradition today. Because first, we're going to have, in a moment, we're going to have Gina come forward with Regina's ashes. And she's going to be placed in there, symbolic of the love and care she gave for this family. And also that she's always near and dear to your hearts. And then we're going to have John come forward, and he's going to pour some sand on behalf of all the children. Because they're also the foundation of this family. And then lastly, Frank and Shannon are going to pour their sand as well, that this family is knit together. And just as those grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so your love, your life, and your marriage be. So Frank, would you please escort Shannon in? We'll have you step over to the side. Gina, would you come forward with me? Shores off. <laughs> and you're giving everything. Yep. Would you please just push it right back out and hold hands again? That's why it's easy. That's your size. Everybody has something to look at. I want you to continue looking into one another's eyes. I want you to think back to that very first moment when you knew that this was the one, this was the person you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. You stepped into a deeper commitment today, and God has smiled and blessed your love and your marriage. I charge you to keep true to the vows that you've agreed to and spoken here. Frank Gargold is your bride. She commits herself into your hands and into your keeping, placing not only herself, but everything she holds dear under your protection for the remainder of her life. Live in such a manner from this day forward that no word, deed, or action of yours. Whatever cloud her brow with grief or dim her eye with tears, 
And if there are tears, like there are right now, let them only be tears of joy. Shannon, it will be your part to attain by your virtues, through your faithfulness, your loyalty, your love and encouragement, this man's heart, that you've won by your grace, your intelligence, and your beauty. Mm -hmm. And to both of you, always remember you're holding your very best friend by the hand right now. Always be quick to forgive each other. And never forget that love is not an emotion. It's a decision. And it's one you both must make each and every day of your lives. If you both agree to all these things, then please say I do. I do. And by the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Frank, you, of course, may kiss your bride. Everyone for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Frank and Shannon Peters. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> hey, Papa. <laughs> Who's gonna run this town tonight? <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> you are more than welcome, sweetheart. Good job, Aww. You did great. You guys were awesome. Congratulations. Good job. You okay? You did great.